Hey guys, welcome back to Pierre Haché Music. Today I'm going to show you four ways to play Antihero by Taylor Swift. These versions are going to get progressively easier and include a cool hack in the last version, so be sure to stay tuned. <music> So forgive me, I'm a little scruffy. I couldn't uh, muster up the energy to shave today. I I'll promise I'll be well shaven for my next video. Uh, so bear with me. The chords to this song the, in the original key in Taylor Swift's version are a little tricky. I'll start by showing you those. And some of you may be able to play the rhythms with those chords. But stay tuned for the other two versions uh, that offer easier chords because those might be a little easier for you to play. And you might be more familiar with those chords. But the original key, Taylor Swift's version, goes like this. The chords are A, then E, then it's a B chord, like that with a little bar, and then we'll go up to a C sharp minor. Okay, so a little tricky. The A is just two fingers here, not too bad. Then E, we got the stack in the fourth fret index on the second fret at the bottom. E major, then a B major chord, little bar at the bottom, two fingers on top, B. Pause the video as needed to practice these. And then we slide up two frets, we bar three strings and the third finger at the top for the C sharp minor. This is at the fourth fret. Okay? You'll want to work on those chords. Make sure you can place them well, get the bars to ring, and transition quick enough to make this work. I'm going to show you four different rhythms now that get progressively more difficult. And I won't go over these rhythms for every chord version of the song, every key, um, but I'll show you now and you can kind of pick and choose which one works best for you. And eventually you could work on all rhythms with the, the four versions of the song, okay? So the rhythm at its base goes like this. I'm gonna just uh, chuck on a, a muted sound to start. It's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and this is what's called a charleston it's a dotted quarter note followed by an eighth note on the end of two one and two and three and four and okay and it's not like an even rhythm it's a little syncopated bum, 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 right So the easiest way, in my opinion, to play the song would be with downs on those rhythms. So it'd be something like this. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four. And two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Something like that. Now, a next step, another variation in the rhythm, would be to go down, up, down, up, okay? This adds a little more movement in the wrist, and if that's kind of how I would lean towards playing it. That would go something like this. Two, three, four. And up on the second. Down, up, three, and four. something like that. Now what if we add something out, uh, something else? How about a chuck on beat two? This is starting to make it sound a little more full, a little more rhythmic. It could go something like this. Two, three, four. Down, chuck, up. Four. Okay, again. Okay, starting to sound a little more full. Lastly, we could add an up, down, up at the end to kind of tie it all together and fill that empty space at the end. Okay, now remember, I'm going to show you easier chords to play this. So if these chords are too hard for you, you can apply these rhythms to the other chord variations. So stay tuned. But the full rhythm on the chords in the original key goes like this. Two, three, four. Chuck up, up, 
down, up, down, chuck up, up, down, up. Okay, something like that. So work on those, take your time, and remember those rhythms. Maybe pick one or two to start and apply them to the following chord progressions. If you're having trouble getting that rhythm, another way to think of it would be to refer to the drum beat in the song, which goes something like this. Right? And that second strum, the second strum of the song, the second chord, is on the first of the two bass drum notes, the part. So what I mean is this. I'm, I'm strumming that second chord on the first of the two bass drum notes. So if you can hear the beat of the song, boom, ta, boom, boom, ta, the second chord is boom, ta, boom, boom, right there, ta, boom, ta, boom, boom. Ta! That's another way to think of it and might help you kind of get that rhythm together. I'm not going to go into the vocals in this tune. I won't get into how the strums line up with the lyrics and all that. That could take a whole other 10, 20 minutes. But let me know in the comments if you'd like me to break down the vocals, the singing, to help you line up the strumming with the singing. Uh, I could do another video for you. Uh, if there's enough interest, if there's a bunch of likes and comments down there, I will absolutely create a sing-along version or a more vocally oriented tutorial for you guys. The second way to play this song, uh, Antihero by Taylor Swift, that is a little easier. It's in a different key, right? Any song you can play in a whole bunch of keys. So likely you can find an easier version. That's something to keep in mind. If, if a song, you're, you discover a song and you're trying to learn it and the chords seem really hard, there's a bunch of bars or something, there's probably an easier way out there to play it, okay? So for example, Antihero can also be played going C to G, and then a D chord to E minor. That would be another way to do it. So now I'll do it with the down, chuck, up rhythm, okay? You can try any rhythm you want, but that's a good starting point. So C, G, D, E minor, okay? Same chord progression, different key. It'll also be different to sing it along to these chords. So. Right? C, G, D, E minor. You try it with the rhythm of your choice, but you can hear how it still sounds like the tune, just in a different key. The third key I'm going to show you guys, the third way to play the song, is even easier. This is another key. Now we'd be playing it in the key of F, and it goes F, C, G, A minor. So that one's all open chords, nice and cozy, okay? F to C, many of you might prefer this version, G to A minor. Okay, and as you try singing along to the different ones, you'll find the one that suits your vocal range the best. That's the most comfortable for you to sing. Here we go with a little rhythm. Again, I'll do the down, chuck, up rhythm. Here we go. Two, three, four. So you could try it with those chords as well. It'll definitely be easier. The last way I'm going to show you to play this song kind of comes full circle. Remember how the original key started on an A chord? Well, we can actually play this in the key of A, but using the easiest version of the chords. How are we going to do it? Well, the trick is quite simply, we're going to use a capo. And if you put that capo on your fourth fret, right about there, and I use the version in F. It 
it's going to be in the original key. And if you don't have a capo, well, I got a little trick for you. Okay, check this out. Some of you may already know this trick, but if you have a pencil and an elastic, okay, with a bit of practice, you can make your own capo. The best way I've found to do it is to take a pretty sturdy, pretty thick elastic, put it around your pencil and loop it around once. So you're going to twist it and loop it around. That gives you a little extra tension. Then I'm going to place it at the fourth fret with only a little bit of the pencil sticking out here and pull it around to clamp it down on the fret. Adjust a little bit and you should have just enough pressure. You want it to be kind of close to the fret, not too far. And Okay, you'll have just enough pressure. It's not quite as good as a capo, but it does the trick to uh, play in a different key. So here again, capo four, I do the easy versions of the chords, F to C, G to A minor. <laughs> Bit of a buzz there. You might wanna wrap it twice, get it even tighter. And that's another way to play anti-hero on the ukulele. And this brings us back to the original key but with the easiest version of the chord. So you might prefer singing it there. Again, it depends on your vocal range. It depends on how well you can get that uh, pencil capo hack to work. Uh, you want a nice sturdy elastic and get it nice and tight. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Check out my ukulele playlists down in the description. Subscribe and click the like button if you enjoy this content. I really, really appreciate the support. And you can check out my website, pierrehachemusic.com. I have tons of books, ukulele, guitar, and drum methods available there. So check those out and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.